just before you signed on talking about the um, mail that Bob picked up from town, uh, town off. And the question is, some of the mail goes back to 2019. There'd be any filings that you would be missing that would possibly be in Bob's mail? Uh, <laughs> Anything you're waiting for that would be- not, not that I can recall. <laughs> So Bob, that, that's but, my theory that what you've got is surplus there, and I, have I can the, kind I have of speak, the, speak on behalf of the town clerk's office that probably most of it is duplicated in the town clerk's office. So, right, because people mail things to the clerk and to the ZBA, right? Right. Yeah. Oh, okay. But because the zoning bylaws say they have to submit so many copies. Most of those are copies, uh, but Bob could stop in and make sure that we do have copies of everything in the town clerk's office if you'd like, just to make double check to make sure. Okay. <laughs> Sometimes they might send an, uh, an amended plan or something directly to the zoning board and we may not get a copy of it. So that's an option as well. Okay, might take a couple trips. Yeah, I'm not, it took a couple trips going out to your truck. So. <laughs> but as far as those returned letters, the ones that were... Oh, uh, yeah. Maybe I'll Mary just, might want to note those, but other than that, I don't think that, that those was, are... That was a, a butter mailings or something? Yeah, the yeah. A butter's addresses were incorrect, or and they were, so they were returned to the sender. Mm. And there's, a, there's like... I don't know, 15 of those. No kidding. Well, yeah. I, I hope some of them are duplicates. <laughs> well, I get them all from the, the assessor's office, so whatever. Right, right but I just right. I just oh. cleaned up the mailbox. Yep. <laughs> okay. I'll go over to the town offices with my treasure trove and sort through it. Well, if you if you have duplicates, you only have to bring one copy. <laughs> okay, but Amy, Amy, Amy promised that she would shred them, so I'm going to bring them all, but, but I'll separate okay. out the little copy of each thing. Right, yeah. Okay. But that sounds good to me because I'd hate to be the only one saying, we don't need any of that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> to be something that comes up later that no one can find. Okay. But the boxes are now empty. <laughs> Um, and there was also, Roger, there's also a letter from the Department of Housing and Community Development to local official. And it's about a subsidized housing inventory update. And apparently we were late in filing. Lynn, you may know something about that. I don't know. But it was in our mailbox. It was in your mailbox. Um, I do know about it. It's a very difficult report to fill out because we aren't necessarily told what's considered affordable housing. People will apply to have their homes uh, qualify for affordable housing, but the town isn't necessarily notified of that. So uh, the only ones we're aware of are the Smikes House and um, okay. there's so, one other one that we're aware of. I can't think of what it is right now, but. So I'll, I'll bring you that letter too. Okay. Okay, those will be definite keepers. <laughs> All right, so we're here tonight for a special permit uh, request for a flag lot. And who's going to be presenting the petition? Um, I'm Lynn, would you like to tell? Would you like to do that? I can do that. Julie is the applicant, but it was kind of uh, myself that uh, proposed this change to her lot. Uh, back when her lot was created, what the we kind of misinterpreted what the zoning bylaw had said, and because the lot for the house that I live in now was separated from a larger lot, it says that you couldn't divide another lot from that same lot after 1987. So when Julie and Chris got the lot, it was after. 
1987, and our lot was also divided after 1987. But it seems that um, our interpretation of that section of the bylaw and the zoning board and planning board's interpretation might be a little bit different. So now we're proposing that we do make Julie's lot a flag lot to give the lot where my father used to live, 107 North Street, some additional acreage. Right now, the um, leach field is on Julie's property and we are trying to get the, it had, there is an easement in place, but we're trying to get that property so that we own our own leach field to put it bluntly. <laughs> and um, in order to do that, then it kind of breaks up the lot and Chad, who's also on the uh, call, he lives next door and he would like to acquire the, the little strip of land behind um, his house. I'm not sure if you had a chance to look at the plans to see how oddly shaped that the lot is, but it was built that way because it needed the 200 feet of frontage. So the frontage is on the other side of my house, but their ac Julie's access, uh, I'm sorry, I got to clarify, my house versus my father's house. <laughs> Um, the frontage is on the other side of my father's house, and Julie's access is actually between my house, my current house, and Chad's. So um, it would be an ideal situation, actually, for a flag lot because she has enough uh, frontage. It's over 40 feet to go up to her house. Um, and that would allow Chad to have a little more acreage because both Chad's lot and and my dad's lot are very tiny. They wouldn't meet the zoning standards today um, because it's less, I think it's less than a half an acre or very close to half an acre. So this would actually give those lots a little bit more acreage. Um, in my case, it would give me a little bit more frontage, but the main thing that I needed or wanted to have was the easement on my own property. The, the septic system on my own property rather than it being on someone else's property. So that's that's basically what we're we're asking the ZBA to do tonight is to allow this lot to be a flag lot. Are, are all the houses built already? Yes. It would not allow for any other building lot at this point, a at any point, basically, if we did this, every house, there was, there would not be enough frontage or acreage to add any more houses. So it's just reallotting what's there in a different way? Yes. Okay. Okay, well, you're right. It is confusing then to look at it. <clears throat> so if I may, before we actually look at the plan, the um, bylaw itself, let me see if I can understand the plan. All right, so your land and your husband's land is at the north. Yeah, yeah. we're talking about the Lyndon Scott property, basically. That would be, that's the property that I'm referring to, because that's going to be my house eventually. The okay. house, it well, won't affect my existing house, which is on the corner there, um, next to Julie's property, her, her driveway line. Um, it would be increasing the lot size for Lyndon L. Scott's property. Um, let me look at the actual plans. I'm looking at a plan that I had. Um, Roger, is, the plan is not on the website. I don't see it. No, I was, I was, I was going to try to be able to share the screen, but I couldn't find it on the website. Oh, we didn't post it on the website? No. Hmm. Um, can, hmm. can, do you have it? Can you share it? I do. It? I have it on it. I, I, well, can, I don't know how, quite how to share, but I do have it. I can, I can let you share, Lynn. Um, okay. I can. Hang on, hang on. I'm going to make you a call. I think, it, I think most people have seen it, but. You sh you should be able to share the screen now, Lynn. Whenever okay, you're ready, gotta, it's on a thumb drive, so I'm gonna have to put that in my computer. Okay. 
There we go. Okay. Now let's see. How do I share? Go down to the bottom. Yep. You'll see a green share screen. Oh, share screen. Okay. So I have to bring up my file first, right? That's right. Yeah. So okay. Let me do that. Uh, do, 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 do. It's the first time I've done this. So um Take your time. There we go. I'm done. Okay. Choose folders. There we go. Getting there. Okay. There we go. There we go. Okay. Make it bigger. Go back here. Share my screen. <laughs> Come on. There we go. Uh, there we are. There we are. Can you see that? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So um, the property kind of does a funky thing. It goes up here, but then it goes back here to get the 200 feet of frontage that was here. So the 200 feet of frontage, and then it goes around and back and up to Julie's house, which is here. What we're proposing is we just make this a flag lot. And then um, this little section here would uh, behind Chad's house would be sent to Chad or uh, given to Chad. This part would be to this house, which is my father's old house. This part Julie will just keep at this point. It won't be a building lot, it's just a piece of land. And I'm just orienting myself here. North Street going north here. Yeah. My existing house is here. Okay. Your house shown? Pardon? My existing house is up at the top. I don't see the house drawn in there. Yeah, it's not there. But okay. that doesn't really. There is a house here. There's a house. There's a house on Chad's. There's a house on the land of Lynn M. Sibley. And otherwise, there is no houses except for Julie's which it shows on the plan. But this lot, the, my existing house wouldn't be affected at all. There's no changes there. The, the little shaded area next to my property is actually a aerial easement um, for Julie and Chris because their house, their wires go over our property. So that's what that little shaded area is. So Lynn, excuse me. So was there enough frontage for you, for your and Randy's home and also Julie's? Oh yeah, ours has yeah. enough frontage because ours is on the corner and goes all the way around. I see, so, I see. Yeah, okay. so our existing house is fine. It had enough frontage. And Julie's lot line next to our existing house isn't changing. That's the same. The only thing that would be changing is the things to this um, behind Chad Adams and behind my house and beside the house. So, but she would no longer have 200 feet of frontage at all. She'd have 40 feet of frontage. Right, for a flag lot. She'd have, so it's actually, I think, 70 feet there. And she would still have frontage on parcel C. It just would not be attached to her lot. Right, right. But the flag lot um, bylaws just say you need 40 feet of frontage and three acres. And, and, the, and she would have that. And that frontage, that 40 feet would be contiguous. It's- Yes. Yep. Okay, okay. Yep. 
it would be, I don't know. Can you see my cursor when I do this? Yes. Yes. Okay. It would be this area here would be her for over 40 feet of frontage. But the surveyor didn't indicate how much frontage is there. Um, I think it's 60 feet. I know, but I'm looking in my, in my eyes, <laughs> making sure I'm not blind. There's no depiction there of how much frontage it is. Am I correct? Um, I, thought it, it's, I think it's 66.58 feet. Right, I know that's what you think, Lynn, but- No, it's on the map. I don't see oh, it. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Oh, it, no, I, it is never mind. there. It, it is right here, 66. This is my cursor. 66. We don't see your cursor. You don't see mine? No. no. Actually, Literally. on the the um, the town's zoning, I mean, the plan that was created when uh, Julie's lot was originally created, it had 75 point one six feet of frontage here and that line is not changing i i don't have it electronically but it's filed with the registry of deeds um so i'm going to ask so, a tricky question but it, just in terms of how the surveyor drew it the 66.58 yeah. is an arrow that relates to it yeah that's the other i i was mistaken on that yeah he's got 100 feet with an arrow at the bottom rectangle he's got 100 feet on the one above it, and he's got no further dimensions to put in the frontage. That's not saying we can't figure it out. I just want yeah. to make sure I'm not missing it. He, so he, he comes in. Well, this, um, like I said, there's a plan filed with the Registry of Deeds. This is not changing, this amount here. And the plan filed when um, it was first split off, when Julie, first, Julie and Chris first got that lot, it does say 75 feet, 16 point seventy five point one six feet that is here and that's not changing on our design Lynn where's the um septic in question that's on a right here okay <laughs> and we really don't have any other options for our septic system because we had to put in a new well and even the well doesn't quite meet the standards, but the Board of Health gave us permission because it's an existing house. Our well is right here. And if we tried to move the septic onto our own property, we mm -hmm. wouldn't be able to because it would be too close to our well. So forgive me, Lynn, because I don't know this part of Waitley as well as others. Mm -hmm. I see two, two ownerships by you of two different parcels. Which one is, do you live at? I live up at the top one. All right. So I'm then, going to live at this other one <laughs> eventually. And that house is built? Yes. It was my dad's house and I inherited it. And that's it's a see. much smaller house. And as my husband and I get older, we've decided we'd like to live on one floor living in Maybe. a smaller house. Interesting. Yeah. All right. So why don't we do what we always do, which is read the bylaw and see how it relates to the plan. So, and I am looking at the October 20, 2021 bylaws. It's on page 40. Page 40, 171-24.1. The ZBA may issue a special permit for the creation of up to one flag lot with reduced frontage, provided the following requirements are complied with. A. A flag lot may only be created by subdividing one lot, which was in existence at the time of the adoption of this flag lot bylaw amendment, April 27, 1987, which conforms to all provisions of the zoning bylaw, except that the original lot in which the flag lot is created has not had contiguous land and common ownership sufficient to create a standard lot with the normal frontage requirements since the date of the adoption of this flag lot bylaw amendment. And so that's, and that's where our confusion lied. <laughs> and that's a tortured paragraph that we've wrestled with over the years. Um, but the way the way it jumps out to the reader is that there's a bigger lot and you're creating something which is called a flag lot, which is a smaller lot. Um, okay, so that 
it talks about the original lot from which the flag lot is created has not had contiguous land and common ownership sufficient to create a standard lot with the normal fringe requirements since the date of adoption of this flag lot bylaw. I mean, so one of the problems is you do have a lot that has sufficient frontage so that the flag lot bylaw is designed to give someone a break and, and allow them to build with a, a smaller intensity frontage. That's why that phrase is there. Um, yeah, and I think if we had um, interpreted things differently at the time that that lot was created, we would have tried to do a flag lot. But because my lot was already divided, this whole area, um, my lot, Julie's lot, and all of this land of David L. Scott was all one parcel at one point. My lot, um, the upper one, was divided from that lot in 1990. So we interpreted that bylaw to say that because that lot was divided after 1987 or whatever the date is on that, that we couldn't divide another lot without it having frontage. And so that's why the lot is shaped the way it is because it was divided from a lot that had already been previously divided after 1987. Um, yeah, so that's... <laughs> So we weren't sure at the time that it was created originally that we could have done a flag lot because of that wording. And now it, I, I believe that there have been a couple of cases where a flag lot has been divided from a lot that had been previously divided. Um, so that's why I was proposing this, hoping that we could make this a simpler project. Can, can I ask, how does Julie access her house? Through the little driveway here. So, okay, so she she's... has a side lot access um, permit from the planning board. Okay, so what does she use the, the these lower parcels down here for? Nothing, just frontage. Okay. So, excuse me, Roger, when you say that there is sufficient frontage, what are you looking at? The frontage along here? I'm sorry, you've got, can, can you see, can anyone see my cursor going up and down? No. No. Um, oh, do you okay. want so me I, to? I, I can see somebody's going up and down. That's me. That, that, could you, where is the frontage that Roger's referring to that would be sufficient for both lots? Well, I'm wondering if he's referring to frontage at the time that this was originally divided or no. the frontage now. This the would be the frontage. The frontage today. This is the frontage for that lot right now. Right. Okay, but but is that not broken up by the home of, of Chad Adams? No. No, it's, because it's going... The plan is confusing because you're not seeing it without the, the proposed lines. But if, if you These are the proposed lines. To remove those proposed lines, Deborah, sort of squint These your eyes, then it's, it's, the, it's a very odd shaped lot, but it has no divisions between them. It has oh, two feet. These are the existing lines here. So this, this is the existing lines. So, what we would like to do, oh, I'm sorry, no, that's not. These are the existing lines for the lot. Excuse me, okay. uh, Mary's going to need to excuse herself for maybe 10 minutes. I'll be right back as soon as I can. Okay, we should, should we per perhaps pause or are we, because Mary takes our notes. Let me ask this, then we'll pause. Are you able to put up the, cur the plan as it exists, Lynn, without those division lines? Uh, I don't think I have a copy of that electronically. It's just with, I can look for it on the, 
Let me uh, let me do some searching. Take a ten minute break and then we'll we'll reconvene. Okay. Let me. Uh, I can probably get off the um, registry. Yeah, I think you can. Okay. So. Okay, we'll see. we're in recess for ten minutes. Okay. I'm gonna leave the um, the uh, recording on. Okay. Okay. Hey, baby. When you left to go to golf, she was in there under the bed. Where is she? Jelly. Should, uh, I, I text her. I'm not, I'm not on her meeting. I am back, everyone. been here kind of <laughs> okay
Whoop. I lost it. Okay. There. So I have a message that says your screen sharing is paused. Well, I... I do you see the new plan or the, well, I, a different I, plan? I'm not sure it is different. Not different. The new plan would have a division here and a division here and a division here. You know, Lynn, your your cursor isn't showing up. Okay, so let's see if I can figure out new that's, share maybe. That's the, the, I mean, that's the plan that we've looked at previously. Okay, yeah. let me yes. see if I can get to the other one. Yeah, maybe a new share. Do you see anything different there? Yes. yes. Okay. This will stop. Do you want to continue? Yes. Oh. <laughs> okay. Um, so this is the plan that was filed at the registry. Officially back on the record. Oh. Um, well, we never stopped recording, so we could say we are officially back on the record. Okay. okay. So this is the plan that was filed at the registry when um, the property was divided for Chris and Julie's house. So the proposal is to basically take this line. Could you rotate it? Is that possible? Rotate it? Um, I'm, well, like, let's see. Oh God, come on, you can figure that out. <laughs> It looks right to me. That's why I'm. Oh, you want it? Okay. Okay. Wait a minute. Let's see. I rotated it the wrong way. Configuration as we saw earlier. Let's see. No. Let's go. You had it. Yeah. And you had oh, it. I'll just good. keep going. <laughs> <laughs> uh, one more time. Yes. Yes. yes, that's right. Okay. <laughs> um, so basically, this is the plan that's in existence presently. Our proposal is to make connect these two here, and that would be the flag lot. This little area here would go to its Chad Adams now, and this area down to here would go with this property. So when the property was divided for, for, for Julie's house, was she using the frontage? I'm sorry, was she, where was the frontage? This was her frontage. This was her frontage, okay. And we had to get a side lot access in order for her driveway to be over here. I see, okay. Okay. Because we were under the impression we couldn't create a flag lot at that point in time. Maybe yeah. we still can't, but I thought this proposal is hoping we can.
<clears throat> so back to the paragraph A. I, I grant you it's creative, but the basic concept of a flag lot is that <clears throat> that, <clears throat> that lot without this special permit is not capable of being built upon and not capable of having a house. Okay. Whereas here, you already have the house on that very lot, which you're trying to diminish, like carving out some pieces. And, and as a result of that diminution, we would call it, call, labeling the new piece a flag lot. So it doesn't really fit into the concept of a flag lot, which is to give relief to somebody who can't otherwise build on this piece of property. Okay. You've already built on the piece of property. Right. And now you're trying to shrink it a bit. That's the way I'm seeing it as in terms of the overall concept. And in terms of the words, <clears throat> the flag lot is being created from a piece that has not had contiguous land in common sufficient to create a standard lot. And that's my point. You already have the standard lot. You already have a lot with yeah. two feet of frontage. Yeah. I'm just one voice, but that's the, these are the hurdles that I'm seeing. And I'm not aware that we've ever done that before. No, I don't think you have. I know you've split a, a flag lot from a lot that had been previously split, but it was to create a new flag lot. It wasn't to create a flag lot out of an existing. So I, just figured I'd give it a try because it would make our life so much easier on my, the other property of having the easement. And we have an easement, a septic easement, but I have a very bad experience with an easement in the past. Mm -hmm. um, and well, how's, how's, I didn't want to repeat that. How is this going to even help you with that? Because it would be on my property. I'd own my I'd own my own septic system. Okay, so again, I get a little confused. The septic you. system is on Julie's property right properties. now. You've got two properties, and you've got an easement that's showing here. But the easement that's showing here is oh, not that easement on that property is a different easement. I'm right. talking about the septic easement that's on the south, uh, the lower part for my what's labeled Lyndon Scotts. It's it's actually here septic easement area at the lower part of the, uh, right here. Okay. This is the septic easement. <clears throat> and so that, oh, I'm sorry, your, go ahead, Roger. That's on your daughter's land, right? Daughter-in-law, uh, yeah. Daughter -in -law. Okay. All right, so go ahead, so, Deborah. So is the, excuse me, so is the worry, Lynn, that if Julie were not the owner again, then you'd have this tricky easement? That, yeah, that's part of it, yeah. Um, <clears throat> I had a bad experience with a water easement um, at our existing house. Uh -huh. um, the person, our, our, we had a spring on a neighboring property and the person made it very difficult until we finally had to put in our own well. Yeah. So I, I, I'm just uncomfortable with having that easement on someone else's property. Not that it's created an issue at this point. It's just potential. You know, historically, I I had a bad experience with an easement. So, no, I understand your desire, and I, you know, we always try to to find the most elastic interpretation of the bylaw, but you know. Roger's right in pointing out those hurdles. And I, when I was looking at them, I'm, I'm just not seeing a lot of room to interpret it differently. Um, I don't know if anybody has other thoughts on that. Is Bob back with us? I am, I'm here. Oh, okay. I just can't see you in my little strip of people here. I mean, I wouldn't mind asking town council if there's a way to do it, if, if, if certainly something we've done yeah i would i think i yep. think i think getting that opinion would be helpful because it only makes sense you know i mean it it it, it doesn't make sense the way it is so it, it's kind of I mean, it's already all set up there we're not like actually creating a flag lot and building a house that's not there 
right? I mean, it, it's it's already there, right? Yeah. The only the only problem that I could foresee is that when you, as Roger referred to it, the diminution of a lot, um, could open doors for people to do other shrinking of their lots. Um, just worry about what kind of precedent that might set. No, I think that makes sense. I, um, but you know, I, I would vote for a town council opinion. Mm -hmm. All right. So we do that. I think we usually need to, um, get permission from Brian to do that. So I'll send him an email in the morning, okay. but he always says yes. So that's really just <laughs> pro forma. <laughs> And then we can put Very this up till next uh, month. And if for some reason town council is delayed, we would let people know that. But looking at the calendar, first Thursday in October is October 6th. Okay, I will be away, but I should be able to sign on at that point. Okay. All right. And so basically the question would be, are we allowed to um, grant a special permit for a flag lot with, upon a lot that already has sufficient frontage and already has a house on it? That would be, the, I'll, I'll phrase it a little bit more artfully. That's the gist of it. Okay, All right. I appreciate your consideration. Um, of course. We yeah, figured we'd give it a go and see what happens. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yes, thank you guys. Okay. So Lynn, if you want to um, stop your screen sharing, yep. and mm -hmm. then I will um, make you not a co-host anymore. <laughs> and then, okay. All right. Excuse me, but what is the date of the next meeting at the, the first Thursday? October 6th. 6th, thank you. All right, so we have some other business. We wanted to look at the minutes. Mary, you've got minutes for us for the missing months? Yeah, there, there are only three missing months, January, February, and March. March was the last meeting we had. Wow. Yeah. In 2021, we had three times the work of normal year. <laughs> this, oh, we sure this, did. There were some nights when we had four, four hearings. Yeah. Yeah. Did you share the, oh, okay, March 3rd. Okay, I see that. Let me go, let me go out for a second and try to get those minutes. Can they be posted on our share um, screen? I can I can do that. I'm going to do that right now. I'm just I saw some had come in at the they lab. each went separately. They went separately. Okay. Okay. One long one and two short. Okay, so I've got I just want to see what else I've got up here. All right, I'm gonna get rid of the legal notice and get rid of the agenda. So I've got March, I've got February. I'm just looking for, did you say January is there too? January 6th, I, I sent that earlier. Okay, yes, I did get that. Let me just go back and, um, yes, yes, you did. I think I have all three. Uh, two, three, one. Okay. Um, okay. Let me just come back to you all. Oh. Okay. So let me share the screen of. Let me make this. Okay. Can everybody see this? Yes. Okay. So this is January. I did read this earlier. Um, I'm okay with it, but would people like me to just keep it up so you can read it? I've, I've read this one. 
I've read them all. Well, we don't require a unanimous vote to approve an instrument. I haven't read them, just to bare my soul. <laughs> <laughs> So if, if we don't, if you guys are able to vote on it and approve them. Well, we do have a fragment in January 1. Um, Tom Reedy noted the bylaw section wouldn't have been allowed if from April 2018, the above fragment is all I have. But I, that to me seemed like April 2019 that seemed like that's specific enough, but I don't have a memory of it. Well, this. it says April 2018, so I'm assuming he was back to talking about the the urban grown thing. Well, um, what I do is simplify. I don't even know if it's necessary to have it there, but he did go to 171-12D, which I, you know, reprinted there for a reason. It's just really fuzzy on what was meant. Why don't you delete the blank and just have it read April 2018? Well, remember, that, that's remember? not the main problem. It, it's, well, I guess I could just say that. So he was making a point that this section is important because if such and such were true, the town, it, it wouldn't have been allowed to word it this way, I think. I, right. I, I, the concept was a two-year period. Uh, so whenever it started, whether it was April 1st or April 30th, which was ultimately irrelevant, his, his point was it's a two-year. Okay. So the concept, I think, is accomplished with just saying April 2018. So how should the sentence read then? Just delete your blank. Um, wouldn't oh, just take out the day blank. Yeah. It yeah. wouldn't be allowed if from April 2018. You could say if measured from. If, me April, if measured from. April 2018. If measured from the April 2018 date deadline of two years. Wouldn't be allowed if measured from the April 2018 date de deadline of two years get get rid of the date or the april 2018 deadline that's good too yeah okay i'll just i'll take up the rest of the yellow <laughs> yeah i think that works mary and okay. i just wanted to go down and so i didn't know quite why crucially was blue uh that's what uh, Don did. He he had three points he made in his letter, and in two places he colored the words blue. Okay. That was one of them, so I kept it. Okay. We just had a little typo in the four, but that's no big deal. What did I have it in twice or something? No, it's just that it's in the middle of the. It's about a yeah. Well, that's. <laughs> No matter how I, I thought I'd left enough space above it on the previous page that that line would be up there and four would be at the start of the next page, but yeah, it it's, never it's, seems to work. It was very clear. It's clear. Um, then the that, that bumped everything. Well, I'll try fixing it. Sometimes it gets posted that way too, because that's it. Now this one. This is the Tom Reedy Bacon Wilson memo. Yeah, um, uh, Roger had asked him to read that uh, regarding the, the two years being the time required to reconstruct the damaged greenhouses. And he did, Tom, Mr. Reedy did read it, but I don't have a copy of it, so I can't really identify it more than that. And, you know, it's all supposed to be kept in the ZBA files. I, Roger, I don't know if this is something he sent to, to everyone or just to you or if you, you know if you it would have been back around January 6 or a little previous well <clears throat> I, I might very well have it but 
as far as the minutes are concerned, you can. Yeah, just it get... wouldn't. It wouldn't interfere with this. It would be, you know, if, as long as I'm able to amend that with an ID of what it is and say that it's being kept. But yeah. All right. Or is, that, is that how you do it? All right. Let's. Um, I'll put a little note here. I'll look for it. I, I probably have it. What I mean is that the heading that says documents reviewed, it then says in parentheses kept in the ZBA file. So I don't want to imply that it's there if it isn't. Yeah. Okay, that's that's January. Is everybody good with that? Yes. Okay. All right, let me bring up February. This was our meeting where we just reviewed minutes. Yes, oh, yep. pretty much. So it's- we're, we're reviewing minutes of minutes reviewing. Right. right. <laughs> um, so we had no concerns with um, April. We had no concerns with August. Uh, we got, I'm assuming these things were done. I had asked Roger for some case summary information, which he sent. So that, that got corrected. Good. Um, The paragraph that begins with Beth Lucan, followed by a comma, and then the word and. Oh, I, I, I didn't mean to put a D there. <laughs> what page is that? That uh, must be page one. Page one, yeah. I went right by that, Bob. Good catch. Eighth grade, you know. I know, but I feel like I, that's the kind of thing I should catch, you know, I'm slipping. Um, so that was that one. Are we good with this one? Mm -hmm. Yes. All yep. right. And let me get the last one. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Three. All right. Okay. So this one, the, it, this is short too, but I I thought it looked good. Yeah. It's just that special permit. And that was it. So it's really just the one page. Bob will resume. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <So. laughs> All right. I'm good with it. Okay. And that is the minutes. That, those are the minutes. All right. So we've approved the minutes. We're up to date. We're up to date. So I know, Roger, did you still want to have a conversation that I, sh that I should stop the recording? Well, yes. So I wanted to um, discuss something just with other neighbors in, in Waitley that has nothing to do with any zoning matters. Okay. And I thought that um, it'd be appropriate not to record it. And um, without any further ado, let me know when the recording is stopped. All right.